Hi guys, thanks for watching my video. Um, I wanted to make this video on these two keyword tracking tools because I use them every single day. And they're really similar in many ways. And the two keyword tracking tools I'm talking about is Accuranker and Zootrix. Um, like I say, they're very similar, but one, one major difference between them is the price. So if you look at the pro package, okay, it's $28 for 1000 track keywords, okay, $28. And in Accuranker for exactly the same tracked keywords, 1000 keywords is 129 for the monthly package. So there's a massive difference in price between Accuranker and Zootrix. And honestly, they're very similar in many ways, okay? So what I did was I put the same domain in both tools and the same keyword list in both tools, and I let the tools do their magic. And then what I did was I downloaded the results, um, the tracking results, and here are the results in a spreadsheet. So basically, this is all for desktop, okay? So the same keywords, these are also the same keywords here, and these are the results in Zootrix and Accuranka. And for the most part, they're basically pretty similar. Um, there's a minor difference here and there, uh, and there's some big differences as well. So for example, um, the domain which I'm tracking is a SEO uh, agency in Hong Kong, uh, called that's where I live, called growthhackers.hk. And some of the keywords are definitely different for the results. But let's take this example here. So Hong Kong SEO right, as the keyword. Zootrix says I'm position two in desktop, and Accuranka says I'm position three. Now, there's a tool that I really like called SEO Volatility, and what that does is it takes a look at IP addresses in the local uh, Google that you're searching. If I show you, it'll make sense. So what this tool does, again, taking the same keyword of Hong Kong SEO, what it does, what it does is it goes to desktop devices in Hong Kong. Okay, so Hong Kong IP addresses, and it takes twenty IP addresses in Hong Kong. So it checks twenty IP addresses in Hong Kong, and it finds that for the keyword Hong Kong SEO, um, I am consistently position three on desktop, which means that Accuranker is more accurate. For that particular example okay um, just for a reference as well for mobile on exactly the same keyword um, for some people i'm position one and for some people i'm position three which tells you that uh, there's quite a lot of volatility for me and google um, they're not sure to put me position one or position three they're a little bit unsure okay but anyways going back to the comparison um, for that particular keyword, it looks like Accurank is just, you know, a little bit more uh, correct. Um, however, you need to do more kind of research. And also, you need to let the data, you know, come in more consistently. Because I've only done this check for about four or five days. So it's not, you know, completely 100% accurate. Uh, moving on, um, here is the uh, dashboard for the uh, domain, which I'm tracking, um, which is the uh, Zootrix dashboard. And um, what, one quite cool thing about this is on Zootrix is that, well, first off, it's kind of like a very nice way of presenting the data. So it's telling, it's telling you all of the keywords that I track here, which ones are in the top three, which ones are in the, so, you know, 14% 14, 14 are in the, um, you know, top one, which is, which is good. Uh, so it, it gives you like a kind of an immediate breakdown. One thing I like about it is that you can drop down each of the keywords and see where your competition are. And where where you're ranking so you know from the on the 14th and the 15th i was position one on uh, desktop for example um so you get the idea right you can actually drill down into every single keyword which is a good thing very very similar in um accuranka what you do is you click here into keywords and it pulls up all of the keywords and very similar to zootrix you can also let it load up okay you see how it ranks it ranks it again um, from position one downwards that's just because i filtered it a uh, very similar situation um unlike zootrix though you can't see the competition ranking for that specific keyword 
Instead, what you do is you actually click into the keyword. So then let me just get one that I know could be quite interesting. So Hong Kong SEO, let's look at this one. Click in there, and then it kind of tracks it, you know, kind of similar to what Zootrix does as well. Okay, this is just it's saying that it's flat here, but it's a similar setup. I kind of I kind of prefer the way that Zootrix does it, that you can see per keyword the drop down of your competition, which I think is pretty cool. Um, so moving on, the Zootrix have this keyword lab, which is pretty cool actually. It tells you you can pull in specific keywords and it gives you the volume, etc. But also kind of once again, it gives you this nice comparison of the competition. And they have their own in-house rating, which is called Z rating, um, which I don't know very much about, but it looks it looks it looks pretty cool that they've got that. That could be quite quite useful. But the point here is that you can drill down per keyword and see the competition, um, which is good. There's something very similar in Accuranka. They have what's called keyword discovery, uh, which actually, to be honest, I haven't really tested, but I think it'll be you know fairly similar. Um, the competition. So for this keyword here. I have, um, you know, all of these, um, you know, competitors, which Zutrix is saying that I'm competing against. And this is pretty cool as well, because it's a nice presentation and a way of doing it. So it's saying that, you know, today I'm position two on desktop. These guys are position one and four. And then you can start to sort of see just like a snapshot of where you're at with your comp competition. Um, Akuranka have the same thing. I just haven't populated it. That's why you're not seeing uh, so much data there. Okay. Um, and for, there's also, this is interesting on Zootrix. You've got a keyword planner, which, um, you know, you can start to research keywords, which is obviously a good thing. Um, you have the backlink monitor on Zootrix. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's definitely quite, quite useful. There's no doubt. Um, I haven't really used it that much I, because personally I use for backlinks, I use hrefs, which is a lot better if I'm completely honest about it. Um, so I wouldn't really use the tricks for backlinks. It's, I mean, it's nice to see, you know, they're definitely doing a good job. For example, with the anchor text, this is nice how you're giving this straight off the, straight off the bat, which is a good thing. Uh, the backlink monitor, I do not believe exists in, in Accuranka. I need to check that. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you on Zootrix is that you can white label the, um, for my subscription, I, I'm not, I'm not eligible, but I guess if you upgrade to the next subscription up, you can, you know, whitelist your reporting, which is a cool thing. Anyways, let me summarize everything that I'm trying to say here. Uh, let me just pause the video temporarily. Okay. I just opened my notes. So in summary, um, the things that I really like of Accuranka is that in terms of the data, I mean, I didn't, I didn't really go into all of it, you know, fully, but there is really a lot of data within Accuranka that you can pull out. Um, the other thing which is very important to say about Accuranka is that the share of voice that uh, Zootrix does not, to my knowledge, use share of voice. And what I mean by share of voice is, let me just pull up the dashboard. Over right here, dashboard. This is what I mean by share of voice. When you click, but you can have as many domains as you want in Accuranka. But when you pull in, when you pull in the um, share of voice, this is what I mean here: share of voice. So share of voice is kind of important when it's enterprise level SEO because you can have. I mean, for example, I track um, thousands and thousands of keywords, and I put them into groups. And it's interesting to know, like the share of voice for those groups. In case you don't know what share of voice is, share, share of voice is the kind of percentage of um, real estate that you own for your, you know, for that group of keywords. And it's very useful because when you track millions of pages, uh, like I do, and keywords, then it really helps you understand where the domain is at as a bigger picture. And so for Accuranka enterprise level, that's definitely uh, better. Um, the ability to switch in and, out, in and out of mobile and desktop devices. I thought that this is a nice little feature that you can quickly uh, switch out the data, um, you know, per per domain, which I think was it was a nice little uh, feature in uh, Accuranka. Um, the other key thing as well that I didn't say, which is important about Accuranka, is that you can connect it with Google Search Console. Uh, I'm not sure if that's possible with Zootrix, so that's actually quite a big thing. 
um, for obvious reasons, because you're pulling in you know, data directly from um, you know, Google itself. Uh, what I like about Isutra, it's obviously the price. I mean, $30, well, actually $28 compared to $129. Obviously, this is massive and you know, probably a major reason why if you're a non-enterprise, you should go with Zootrix. Uh, also, clean, neat interface. There's no doubt that it has a really nice um, kind of way that they present the data. It's definitely you know, pretty sweet and nice. Um, they both have really good support. Uh, Jacob Akuranko, big shout out to him. He's a very good guy. He answers his emails literally within a minute. Um, so support there is excellent. Also, Zootrix gave me good support as well. So in summary, um, honestly, 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 I find them very similar. Um, but for enterprise users, I would go with Accuranka because, for example, you can connect a Google Data Studio as well as Google Search Console. You can also connect Google, Google Data Studio and share a voice. You can actually, I mean, we actually use Google Data Studio and Tableau for um, Accuranka, and you can really drill down into specific uh, data which is probably again why Accuranka probably gets the upper hand when it comes to enterprise level um, but in summary just to say for Zootrix if you're non-enterprise 100% the way to go so for smaller sites go with Zootrix because it's incredibly affordable um, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed my little um, comparison between these two really awesome keyword tracking tools. And thank you for watching this video. Thanks. Bye.